wanted to do an episode uh, on my channel for quite a long time involving a uh, teacher's favorite store, Dollar Tree. So today is Dollar Tree Teacher Challenge. point of this challenge is to go into the store and find things that might not necessarily be considered a classroom item and turn them into something for all of you. So, so we're going to go take a look at something. Now, the reason I'm calling this the Dollar Store Teacher Challenge is because eventually I want this to be a challenge that you all help me with. We'll talk about that at the end, but today I'm using things that I got from my local Dollar Tree. Again, this is not a paid endorsement whatsoever. You may find these things at yours, you might find them at a different dollar store, but I bought these things for only $4.20. Now, you may need to spend a few extra dollars to make this for your whole class. This is just one that I'm gonna make for you, but it's a very simple thing that we're gonna make. And like I said, some of it's using some things that I found in the teacher aisle, but also things that you could use making anything from a dollar store, a dollar tree, or wherever it is that you shop. So let's look at what I got. So the first thing that I picked up was one of these. And I got this in the like office supply section. It's a magnetic, uh, what do they call it? Magnetic tin is all it is, a magnetic tin. And it's got a little screw on lid, a little plasticky cover here. And it's magnetic, so if you have a magnetic wall you wanna stick these two in your classroom, you could. I'm not doing that, I'm just gonna make something out of it. So let me show you what else I bought. I also picked up a bag of rice. I picked up a pack of stickers, some ABC stickers. And I picked up one of these reusable dry erase uh, pocket sleeve thingies that you put paper inside of and we'll talk about why. So my friend Kim Adson and I did something similar to this project a while back when she visited my classroom, but I'm gonna change it up a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a homemade boggle game. Um, my class and Trisha's class, a lot of classrooms that we talk to love to play board games, but board games can be expensive sometimes. So first thing you're gonna do is just take the stickers that we bought, and these are pretty cool neon looking ABC stickers and they're big enough and thick, kind of bubbly, that they'll, they'll, they should work. Now, when I say this is a challenge, I am really making this for the first time with all of you right here. So what I'm gonna do to make these work, I've done this before with beads, but the beads are really, really tiny and hard to read sometimes, and I don't need a lot in here for what we're gonna create for this boggle game. So I'm gonna take some consonants and vowels. Consonant vowels because I want the kids to be able to find words that they can build. Now if you're doing this with a kindergarten classroom, it could be CVC words. If you're doing this with an older grade level, it could just be sight words that they could try to build using the letters that they flip or they find in these little jars. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, let's just take some consonants and vowels. So I'm gonna take, we're gonna take an A and a B. And what I'm gonna do with these stickers, cause they are kind of like bubbly looking like I said, I'm just gonna stick them back to back together. That way, no matter when they flip in the jar, and you'll see what I mean by that, there's always gonna be a letter showing. So I'm just gonna stick the A and the B perfectly together cause I don't want the rice to stick to them. We're gonna do the same thing with some of these other letters. All right, now I did not use all the stickers, which is great because now you can go pick up another tin for a dollar and you get one more of these tins and you've got leftover rice, you got leftover stickers and you can easily make another one of these games. So here's what we're gonna do to make it. I'm just gonna take the tin and I'm gonna fill it with some rice, not all the way. I'm just gonna fill it a little bit. So I have a little bit of rice in there. Now I'm just gonna take some of these stickers. Here they are, back to back to back to back and plop them down inside there. Now I'm not guaranteeing that some of this might not stick to some of the rice, because it might. Again, I am making this for the first time with all of you right now. So I've got some of the stickers inside of there. And now I'm gonna continue putting more rice in. All right, whoa, more rice. Got a lot of rice that time. I don't wanna fill it too full, because then it's gonna be too hard to shake it all around, right? And then I'm gonna put some more stickers down inside there. Kinda just stick them wherever I can. Vowels and consonants. And now, if I take this little lid and seal it on there, I can shake this up, and it's kind of like a homemade little I Spy slash Boggle game. And I'm gonna flip it around until I find. And now, if you look inside, it's gonna be hard to do here, but if you look, there are some letters showing, right? So right now, I have an F, an A, an E, and a Z. All right, now, 
if I think about that, that's going to be kind of hard to make some words with, right? So student, this is where this thing comes in handy. So you might have just the alphabet on here for your lower level students or your lower grade students and they could just cross off the letters they're finding, right? Or you might just put a blank sheet of paper inside here and they can write down letters that they found and then try to build words with them. And I have an N, an O, an L, and an E. So then an upper grade student or you know a higher level student might see the word there, Noel, and they could write that down, N-O-E-L. They might also see the word loan, L-O-N-E. They might also just see the word no, N-O, right? Or my kindergarten age students or low, lower level students might just cross off the N, the L, the O, and the E. Simple, simple way to make a little boggle game, right? So you can do that with as many stickers as you want. Again, you can use letter beads for this. These stickers actually worked out really great. Like if you look, they're very really bright and colorful inside there. Again, $4.20 with taxes all this took. I bought one bag of rice, one tin, one set of stickers, one dry erase sheet. I love using dry erase sheets like this for the simple reason that if I put this out in a station, with a student and just a piece of paper for them to fill it out on, and that paper goes home, chances are, now most parents, chances are that's gonna get thrown away, right? Parents don't save stuff like that. They save crafts and cutesy things, right? So I put these in these dry erase uh, sheet protector things. You can just use regular sheet protectors too, save yourself a buck, but these are fun because they last and they're durable. Put them in here and then they take a picture of it using my favorite app Seesaw. I can see their work and then they can erase it and the next student can use it too. So again, $4.20 is all this cost. You may want to buy another a few of these tins so that you can have a couple of kids doing this at a time. You might even want to put number stickers down inside here. You might have them do number sentences, math sentences, put numbers in order, building words, writing letters, however you want to do this. Again, check out how cool those letters all look inside there. These stickers are cool. And again, they're kind of like puffy vinyl, so they work really well. All of this was bought at the Dollar Tree. No, I do not work for them. I just love that store because they love teachers and you can find anything. So I hope you enjoy that activity. Okay, so here's how you can be a part of the next Dollar Tree or Dollar Store teacher challenge. What I'd like to do is for you all, you viewers, send me in the comments or on Facebook or in an instant messenger or however you can get a hold of me, email me. Send me a picture or just a description of an item that you found at a dollar store or Dollar Tree, all right? Now, it can be a few different things, that's fine, but remember, it has to be under $5. So you can find up to four things, or I'll even go up to five things, and I'll add on the tax myself, that's fine. Up to $5. The challenge part is, I want you to send me pictures or descriptions of things that might not necessarily be used in the classroom setting. Like, don't go to the teacher aisle and say, how can I use these teacher things? Now, if, if you want to and you really have some questions, great, I'll make some cool stuff out of teacher materials, but what I'm really looking for is for you to challenge me to create something that isn't necessarily already created for a classroom. I've got more ideas that I'll share with you in the next few weeks. We're gonna try to do this maybe every Tuesday, like the Tuesday Dollar Store Teacher Challenge on the channel. And uh, I've got some ideas, share some ideas with me, and I, I don't know, try to stump me. Let you, I wanna see what you can come up with that I can create with the classroom. Now keep in mind, please keep it appropriate. Don't go buy like, I don't know, I'm not gonna say it, just, just keep it appropriate. Things that I really would buy to use in my classroom in this challenge. There's the first one. One sheet protector, one pack of stickers, one little magnetic metal tin, and a bag of rice. Now I have created a letter hunt slash boggle slash number slash word slash whatever you wanna call it game for my kids to play in the classroom. Super easy to use. This is gonna go to Trisha's room and we'll maybe we'll do a little update on the blog to see how she's using it. But again, share and tag a teacher that might like this. I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button here. If you're watching this on a different platform, head over to YouTube on teacherslearn2.com and please subscribe. That's how you're gonna find out about all my new videos. Check out the podcast, check out the website. Just, I, I love connecting with you guys and I cannot thank you enough for all that support. Challenge me, let's see what you got.